to The Dish. I'm your host, Anna Christina. Thank you for tuning in. Guess what? You picked a great day. You're in for a good treat because joining us is our local star, Chef Havard Ussery from Fat Man's Cafe. And he brought a friend with him, Gernard Wells, a.k.a. the Chef of Love. Exactly. He's also a runner-up from Food Network yep. Star. You guys did that together. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. And I actually, you know, we brought, Haver brought me down because he said he needed somebody to fit the fat man profile. <laughs> so he brought me in to come hang oh, with him. So I'm going to give oh, him a gosh. fattening dish and he's going to go. lighten it up for us. There you go. Bit. That's awesome. Well, listen, I got to ask, why are you called the chef of love? I think I can guess, <laughs> but you, you, you have to tell me yourself. You, you know, it, it developed many years ago. Uh, and, and i tell you why we're fixing this up. Yeah. What we're, we're going to do is we're going to do a... Um, summer pork dish, right? Yes, yeah, summer pork dish. We're going to put a little salt and pepper on it. Then we're going to finish, seal it off mm. with some peanut oil. Ooh. But the cool thing is with the whole chef of love, it started many years ago. And yeah. A lot of people may ask, I have nine kids. I know. I, five girls, I four was thinking boys. that's yeah. what it was. Me and my beautiful wife, we've been married for 18 years. Okay. But over the course of those 18 years, I had created a total of 88 unique recipes wow. and 88 love stories. And that was my first book I wrote that's called 88 Ways to a Heart, wow. Cooking for Lovers. There you go. And it just developed from uh -huh. there, spending time overseas and picking up the whole wee wee. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you must yeah. put a lot of love in your food because it translated very well it, at home. It do. And what, and what I wanted people to, to see and realize is that food and love goes hand in hand. As mm -hmm. you know, you, you're a chef, so you yeah. know how you put your foot in your baby toe and all that. <laughs> but think about it. There, it. No matter what we do in life, mm -hmm. it's always about, now we're going to go ahead and add a little Some peanut love. oil in there. Yeah. It's always about food and love. Mm -hmm. You think about any moment in your life, you get a promotion on the job, what do you say? Let's go out yeah, to eat. Exactly. You, you, you expect to get married, they're focusing on the ideal. Mm -hmm. It's all about the food after. And Harry knows because he caters us that sear. Oh, yeah. And that's how we want to get that nice sear Good going. Sound. There you go. And Harry knows he caters really a good. lot of weddings. But this mm -hmm. is the thing you can go to a wedding, and if you leave the wedding and the food is nasty, people say it was the worst wedding they've ever been to. Isn't that oh, funny? Yeah. It's got to be good. And, it and this shouldn't even be about the food. It's about the I do. It's a good thing I had you food. for my reception. Yeah. Right. Yes. right, with the rehearsal, the dinner. rehearsal dinner. There you see? go. <laughs> see what I'm saying? So I assume it was a success. Yeah. yeah exactly. Everyone loved it. Now what we're going to do is okay. I'm going to have you to go over here and you just... Just trim a little bit. So basically, carrot. you want, want me to cut off my finger on TV? No, I, 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 trust me. You look, listen, like, a, you look like a, listen. a beautiful lady that knows how to cook and work. There you go. That, yeah, that's yeah, the right tool. That's the right tool. Yeah, listen, yeah, listen, I'm not a bread, professional so you know like you. There you while, go. While you're stripping now, we're going to take some already julienne strips. Okay. We're going to get them in the skillet because what we're going to do is pour. A nice little subtle sweetness from the carrot. Look at Harry. That's what I'm talking about. He go. already knows it. But see, this is the key when you do it. I don't know if y'all have seen it before, Harry. You got to do it like this to salt, man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now what we it got, looks better, right? Well, we got this here. What we're going to do is we're going to take our, we're going to take our, Peaches, uh -huh. get those seared with the syrup because we want that as a natural sweetness. Yep, go ahead, have it. Add that brown now sugar. Now tell me, in is there. this one of the recipes in your book or will this be in a future book? This one right here is a future book right here. Okay. Actually, I have about three books going. My latest one that I just wrote is called Roadmap mm -hmm. A Woman's Guide to a Good Man. Right there, so right right over there. there. We're, we're giving them all the secrets of the do's and don'ts, what to look yes. for. We what were talking not to about that. A yes. viewpoint into a man's mind yes. for women so they understand men a little bit better. There are so many different psyches going on with the man. That's so would you say men are yeah. complicated? Yeah, but you know, as I said, what is it? Men are from Venus, women are from Mars. Mm -hmm. That actually is true. Yeah. And what we do is you can bring this on in. See Am I doing, doing this for here? you or are you yes, doing it? Yes, we're going to take the we're going to take the cilantro, twist it together. Okay. Then we're going to go for a nice little mix. That's a good little art. trick. Yes, yes, yes. Now tell me, you guys obviously have continued your relationship from Food Network Star. Must yes, be a, we have. There was a little love in the air with yep. you guys then. Bromance, huh? It, it is, man. This, <laughs> this, this is my son and bro right here. Yeah. We hit it off instantly. He said the one thing when we was on there was, hey, southern soul food, and it was a complete love at first bite. <laughs> yep, so th this is my This is my guy right here, and... 
One of the cool things is we continue to build a relationship even after that. I own a manufacturing company by mm -hmm. the name of Hope. Jack Cuisine. of all trades right yeah. here. My and Havard, man, he creates a magnificent Boom. sauce. And what we did was we took his recipe and we brought it to all the taste buds near you mm -hmm. in a bottle. You know, at his restaurant, he was already bringing it to life yeah, with exactly. the people. So now you got Fat Man's and Eric Cat. When they open up, what they gonna think about? Y'all remember that old show, Jake and the Fat Man? It's Jake, <laughs> it's the Fat Man right, right here. here. Yeah. <laughs> now that we got those seeing pretty good, we're gonna, gonna turn them to about a medium temp. Okay. And see as you, what we are using is the carrots to actually with that peanut oil, just julienne and then the natural sweetness from the carrots are enhancing mm. the flavor of the pork. I mean, it smells good already. I want to just take a bite of it, but I know I can't. Now, how? what is the trick with pork? Is there any type of trick when you're cooking pork? Um, the, the biggest thing with cooking pork, you know, pork, as they say, is the new chicken. Mm -hmm. They tell you everything is the new chicken. <laughs> but the key is, is just making sure you cook it, cook it to the proper temp, okay. just to make sure that your flavor profile comes out good. Normally about at about 160, yeah. 165 okay. degrees. A lot of people don't rip know, so they ain't got no thermometer, so I don't know good, what level. Good hard yeah. sear on that, each side. That's the key. And a good cut it sear. open if you're too worried, right? Always, always. <laughs> So then this sear. obviously is going to go on top of that? Yes, that's that's the perfect glaze. Oh my goodness. So what we're going to do is we're going to give them just a just a quick peek here. Let me get those tongues there. The tongues there. There you go. We're going to yeah. plate this up. Yeah, we're going to plate one of these bad boys up. We got your cilantro there. And we're going to take Pour it right on out. top. Well, look yep. at that. This is right looks so top. yummy. We're going to try yeah, it when we come place. back. Thank you yes, so much. We'll absolutely. be right back because in a minute, <laughs> Chef Haver is going to be helping us pickle some veggies. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to The Dish. I'm so honored to have both of these guys on set with me. You guys know local star Chef Havard Ustry from Fat Man's and this guy right here, Jannard Wells. Chef of love. Chef of love. Yeah, he just finished making this summer pork dish. Why don't you tell us about it real quick before we get into this with Hav? Oh, seared with peanut oil, infused with the sweetness from the carrots, a chipotle peach mm. glaze over it, and topped it off with cilantro and orange zest. And oh, then we got another surprise coming yeah. in just a little while. We're gonna it's top gonna it off with something tonight. else, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> we're topping today. We're, we're topping it off with some extra love over <laughs> here, right? <laughs> okay, Hab, so we are doing something called pickling, yes. which I've always wanted to learn how to do. So talk to us about this, yes, the process. Yes, you know, I think it's a thing that people get really intimidated about. Mm -hmm. You hear pickling or jarring and everybody's yeah. like, oh my gosh, that, that must be a really long process. But it's, it's actually something that's super simple. Mm -hmm. Right now is a perfect time of year, too, because we've got beautiful produce, um, cucumbers, whole okra that we use at the restaurant all the time. Mm -hmm. And this quick pickling method, it really just adds about two weeks to shelf life, sometimes okay. more than that. Um, and it enhances you know, the, the flavor. Yeah, it enhances the flavor, but oh the, gosh, the science. Pickled jalapenos. The <laughs> science behind it is actually all of our produce has a tiny bit of bacteria on it okay. when it sits on our countertop. It can create the molds, create oh, the funguses that comes go. through. When we create an acidic environment mm -hmm. like pickling does, it kills off all the bacteria. It, it can't live in there. Oh, okay. So it uh, just makes the shelf life go a little bit further. And First, listen, you don't use pickle juice. You do not use pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is you, it then? You could probably warm it up, but it might work a little bit. But first, you're going to start off with just a cup of water. Okay. You want it to get warm because mm -hmm. we're going to go in with some sugar mm. to make sure that it's dissolved. All right. Um, so we'll go in with about half of this sugar, which is probably about a third of a cup. Okay. Then we're going to go in with my favorite, apple cider vinegar. You mm. can also nice. use red wine vinegar, you can use just like a white distilled vinegar. Mm -hmm. um, you and can based do off of what the vinegar you use, does that change just gonna, the taste yeah. of it? The flavor profile is uh -huh. going to be completely different. I'm going to crank this guy up. Look at this guy over here, my co-host. Yeah. Co join me all the time, right? <laughs> I, I want a, I want a little bit of heat to these uh, red onions that we're about to do. Love so some spice. I just Always. go with uh, uh, red pepper flakes. A little bit of uh, ground black pepper. This is pretty just easy. Just a tiny bit of salt. Mm -hmm. This is it. Yeah. You just bring this to a boil right here. Yeah. We're going to pour it over the top of these guys. Goes in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to cool. Next thing you know, we've got these 
these beautiful puppies over and here. Pickled how, red onions. Look how bright and pretty I they know, are. Oh my to, goodness. To finish off a dish, and while we're on the topics of weddings, this yeah. show for like of love, anti right? <laughs> <laughs> anti pasto platters, like uh, as right. far as the ochre goes, yeah. the pickles um, that goes with different charcuterie. It's I great to so have that, that versatile. So. And also, you know, we're talking about weddings, Enterprise Mill and Fat Man's Cafe. What a wonderful, I don't know if you guys have ever been out there, but gorgeous. If you're thinking about having your wedding, because wedding season is It's here. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is here. Yeah. So <laughs> we're in full let, swing right now. You let them soak, right? Yep. So we're just going to let these guys soak. Um, okay. What I would do the first 30 minutes or so, I would not cover these. Okay. Let the steam come out. We can put them in the fridge to start to cool. Uh, after that, you can just cover them up. Mm -hmm. This is the beautiful product that yeah, comes out. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. About, Change of color and everything. Yeah, as far as the color and then that acidic uh, flavor that can you know, go with I some know, sweet right, carrots, what, go with some good pork yeah, chops. Add, add that, that, that to the summer dish right top there. Off, I know. We'll top off the dish right here. There we go. Guys, and look at the vibrant colors this brings yeah, into life. The it's awesome. From the carrots. The pink is red from the onions, the green from the cilantro. That's right. It's just artwork right there. It is. Right? It is. Yeah. Good colors. <laughs> and then I've play? got some other stuff to try. we got some spicy green beans, pickles. some okra, and some pickles. This is going to have to go into y'all's book together. That's I know, man. right? Yeah, <laughs> bro man. Well, listen, I, it is such an honor for both of you guys to be here. I'm so excited that you joined me. Thank you so much for Thank doing that, for taking the time to do that. I know you're busy. But all right, do not go anywhere. Speaking of weddings, we have the gown girls joining us in just a minute. We'll be right back. Celebrating a birthday this month? Let us know by submitting on the dishon6.com.